Princess Lulu goes to camp. Princess Lulu goes to camp. By Catherine Cristaldi. Illustrated by Heather Harms Mayo. Lulu was a princess. She lived in a big castle near a big lake with a big fountain in the middle. People came from all over to see the castle. They came to see Lulu's father, the king, and Lulu's mother, the queen. Sometimes they even came to see Lulu. No autographs, please, Lulu would say with a sniff. Then she would wave a little wave and nod a little nod and turn to her right. That was her best side. Everyone said so. Life in the castle was fun. Lulu had her own princess-sized bedroom. It had a princess-sized waterbed, a princess-sized TV, and a pale pink princess telephone. No princess should be without one. She would say to herself, It's too cold. Lulu would screech into the phone. Then a maid would race up with a fussy pink blanket. Snack! She would scream at the top of her lungs. Then a chef would rush in with a plate of cookies. Anything Lulu wanted, Lulu had. But there was one thing Lulu did not have. She did not have a friend. Who needs them? She would say to a spot on her wall. But the king and queen were worried. They spoke to the royal wise man. She's smart, said the king. She's pretty, said the queen. The wise man put one arm around the king and one arm around the queen. She's a royal pain, he said. Oh, my, said the queen. Oh, dear, said the king. But they knew he was right. She must learn to get along with others, said the wise man. Perhaps a summer camp would help. I suggest Camp Rough and Tough. He showed them a booklet. All the campers have to make their own beds. All the campers have to learn to make a fire. Ew, said the queen. Ugh, said the king. But they knew he was right. The next day, the princess got on a big yellow bus. It smelled like twizzle sticks and oranges and tuna fish. My stars, said Lulu, holding her nose. No, my lunch, said the girl sitting next to her. Want some? Lulu stared straight ahead. I guess not, said the girl. Then she stuck her head out the window and yelled, Camp Rep and Tough, here we come. Camp Rough and Tough had five bunks, a mess hall, and a tiny lake. No yacht, asked Lulu. Then she waited for someone to carry her bags. Do you need a hand? said the girl with the tuna sandwich. We are in the same bunk. Lulu rolled her eyes. But she handed over her bags. You're welcome, said the girl. Bunksy had four bunk beds, two light bulbs, and one counselor, Janine. Listen up, said Janine. There will be no gum chewing, no messy beds, and no talking after lights out. The girl with the tuna sandwich made a face. She forgot no fun, she whispered. No phone? screeched Lulu. Then she looked on the shelves and under the beds. No TV either. She gulped. The next morning Lulu screamed for her breakfast, but no one came. So she put on her best dress and her best shoes and her
her best sparkly crown. Then she walked to the mess hall. On the way, three things happened. <laughs>